you just drop these two strangers okay. off in the middle of the wilderness? These two guys have never met each other in their entire lives. It's two if random you dudes. Every day the two of you survive in this wilderness, I'll give you ten thousand. But that's easy. Oh, easy. Enough money, man. We're here for the long. Easy, bro. Easy. Run. Hey, put that camera down. Let's head out. All right, Take care, boys. This video can make you guys millionaires. This is gonna be right. poor by the time we're <laughs> I'm Hayes. Hayes, I'm Grizz. Nice to meet you, man. Hayes and Grizz. Grizz. All right, you're gonna be my best Grizz friend for the next up. however long. Starting now, these guys receive ten thousand dollars every day, with the only That's limit easy, being man. how long they can survive, which theoretically means what? they could win unlimited money. Dude, if we stay ten thousand dollars, multi millionaires. We are trying to find a camping spot, build a fire, survive the night. I guess we should just. Sell my question is, is it $10,000 split between them or each of them get $10,000? That's the real question. So maybe it's 5K for, per person. So I don't know. Let's see. Up camp here. For the rest of the night, they gathered wood and went through their supplies. We've got easy approximately shit, five days worth of food, two huh? things of water. Better Looks hunt. like a change of clothes, some warm jackets, and boom, fire starter. Let's see if we... Oh, let me turn on fucking CC. I don't want that shit on. We got a fire going. Though. Oh, yeah. We are good. Let's make beds out of pine needles. Mm -hmm. Won't be comfortable, but at least we won't freeze to death tonight. Ooh. We're alive. Day two. And in the morning, I showed up to give them their first ten thousand dollars. All right, that's that just was up. the first night. It's cold. It's been twenty-four <laughs> hours, and I didn't walk over with ten grand. You're not gonna ask? Yeah, I guess we should, right? Yeah. Okay, just look up. Oh my! Is it gonna be dropped off by a plane every day? No. Every 24 hours, we're going to drop $10,000 out of a plane for you guys. There's $10,000. How much money? A parachuted brief. But how much money does this man put into this video, bro? Flying a plane ain't that fucking cheap, bro. That shit has to be expensive. Like, what the fuck? Case. Catch it, don't catch it. Bell, watch out. Bro, this is crazy. Bro, we're going to be so rich by the end of this video. And on top of that money, this is your flare gun. Oh. To give up. Shoot it up in the air. The challenge ends for the both of you. And you walk away with the money you've won. So how long should we stay out here? 3.6 million for the year is crazy. All right, the plan is officially a year. We're going to split this in two. You get this. Yes. I get this. Now All we right. can't screw each other over. But that. later in this video, that plan doesn't exactly work. All right, Damn. I feel bad, but I need to steal that flare gun. I just got to shoot this thing, and I get to be a dad again. If you fire that flare, I literally think I'm going to kill you. Well, what buddy, the fuck? You ready to get rich? Absolutely. By day three, you could say the boys were pretty tired of sleeping on the ground. I need to become a dad again. <laughs> so after another 10 grand, they started work on building their shelter. I'm going to use my jacket to gather pine needles and layer them on the shelter. All right, I found this metal piece from a kid's swing set, and I think it's going to work great kids for the roof of our set. shelter. Layer one on. Boom. What do you mean? Here's a section that we're working set. on. You see it's got some structural poles. We get to use the parachutes and the cord, so we're going to make a rain cover on our shelter everyone thinks probably that i'll be the reason we leave and fail this challenge but this money would mean college for the kids and then on day four okay. they started looking for a water source oh there's a swamp i would feel safe boil are these people not survivalists my nigga like how they been i mean they got four days of food and shit like that but dude on day one i already been fucking hunting my nigga i'm like shit let me take your ass hunt i'm gonna get some fucking rocks and fucking sticks like some indian shit back in the day where before you know america became a thing you know like sharpen the rocks and get some sticks and shit like that you know or fucking if they gave my knife you know get ready to hunt some shit out here bro throw some spears at these motherfucking animals i don't care bro fuck that shit all right that. Yeah, we gotta be careful because that stuff is full of bacteria and parasites. True. Mm -hmm. Drink them. Just water. touch at the swamp. All right, we're going to bed. Hopefully, Chris snuggles up because it's cold and he's big and warm. This is like the third day in a row that we've gotten two hours of sleep. It's been so cold. If it rained right now, we'd probably have to go to the hospital. But I'd do it for $10,000. And it wasn't yeah. just the freezing temperatures that were getting to them. We're at the end of our supplies. Grizz yeah. likes to call it a fast, which sounds so much nicer <laughs> than starving. And for the next few days, the hunger problem didn't get any easier. We had a, a little square of beef jerky this morning. That's it. Jimmy gave us five days worth of food and it's day nine right now. These are green briar leaves. Grizz says they're edible, I guess. Mm. Yeah. It was clear by this point that the boys were extremely hungry. They're stupid. There you got two grown ass men don't know how to hunt. I mean, granted, listen, most people probably don't know how to hunt, but dude, your survival instincts supposed to fucking kick in. That's only five days worth of food, bro. You on day one, you're supposed to fucking get some fucking hunting. I mean, hunt some fucking animals. Like, what the fuck are these people thinking? Like, what? Dude, first of all, shelter and food. That's the most important things ever, bro. Like, what the fuck?
great. But lucky for them, I had a surprise waiting for them on day right. 10. They day will 10. officially survive 10 days. All right. Here's your briefcase. Yeah. And don't leave. This is where the challenge gets. Bro, I was going to ask, who the fuck is this? I didn't know. <laughs> Hold on, lucky look, for look. them, I had a surprise Hold waiting look. for them on day 10. They will officially survive 10 days. Woo! I was going to ask, who the fuck this is? Now I realized that was Chris. I'm like, Chris looked like a whole ass female. I was like, why is there just random female here, bro? But yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot Chris yeah, trans yeah. transitioning. So. Yeah. And don't leave. This is where the challenge gets interesting. Bring in the helicopter. <laughs> oh man, I'm nervous, dude. So far to get what? 90k? <laughs> oh, What's that about? Oh my god. I'm excited about. Uh -huh. To celebrate day 10, we have your first offer. I can tell you offer. guys are okay. tired of eating leaves. So I brought you guys an additional 10 days worth of food, spices, okay. two tarps, and everything you would need to fit. All of this for fifty thousand dollars no. of your prize money. You want some beef jerky? Fuck no, I wouldn't do that. But these two men may need to do that because obviously I think they're lack. I ain't gonna say lacking brain cells, but dude, like, nah, dog. Like for them, it'll probably be a good idea. For me, nah, dog. But then again, I don't want to talk all that shit. I probably talk a big talk, but when I but honestly, for real, like on day one, bro, I would have already been fucking hunting. I would have been like part with my partner, like, hey man. Listen, we need to get some fucking shelter. We need to get wood and all this. And also, we need to fucking hunt and kill shit around here. Let's find some chickens, some birds, whatever. Fucking deer. I don't care, bro. We're going to make some fucking deer fucking jerky or some shit, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, they're actually smart for boiling the water. That's cool, too. You know? All right, let me let me play this shit. Jerky? Yes. Ooh. Don't eat it yet. Oh. These beans look good. Oh, absolutely. Oh, coffee. <laughs> coffee. We're going to give you space. Fuck I'll be back in 10 money. minutes. This, he's not kidding. Like, this is literally all the things we would need to fish. 50 grand. 50 grand. They don't yeah. take this deal. I mean, they're kind of stupid. 10 days worth of food <laughs> means they make 100 grand. Is it kind of stupid? <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> and they only have to pay 50 grand for it. I'm doing them a favor. Should we talk to them now? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right, Jimmy. If you make a decision in the next 60 seconds, I'll throw in two feasible bars. What the yes. fuck? Let me see. Oh, you said 59 more seconds, but okay. Here, I'll put that in the pile of food. Thank, Thank you for the fuck? 50 grand. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Enjoy All right, so 40 food. grand. Oh, by the way, you also get the crate with it. Thank you. You also get the crate with it. It was definitely a deal we had to say yes to, but that week of food literally cost as much as my kids' college tuition. Hello. Yeah. I still can't believe it every time this money falls out of the sky. The food from the crate will feed them for 10 days. But if they want to survive out here for you better a year, start hunting, the plan bro. is officially a year. They'll still need to a find year. more food in the wilderness. So some of you may be wondering, why have they not caught fish? Well, the swamp nearby has no fish in it. What we okay. really need is a moving water that we can fish in. And while Hayes was okay. rambling on about his kids, and my two-year-old doesn't sleep very well either, so. This happened. I think being a dad. <gasps> is there what food? Is this? <gasps> The creek. This is not a swamp. This is actually moving water. There's fish in here. Dude, okay. look at this. Cool. It's like a dock. This is the perfect place for food and shelter. And after All another right. few days full of a surprise freezing rainstorm, <laughs> at least now we have $100,000. They decided right, to yeah. move and upgrade their shelter near their newfound water source. Good morning, Grizz. How are you always up earlier? <laughs> We're gathering up a bunch of dead trees we can use for our structure. And then we balance them together into an A-frame shape and okay. cut the trees to the right length. Oh. Damn, gotta start over. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I'm glad I broke your fall. <laughs> sorry. All right, so maybe they had a bit of a false start. But once they got the structure back up, they spent the entire next day putting their finishing touches on their shelter. They even built a fishing dock to help them catch more food. Dock's okay. done. Pleasantly surprised. And now all we gotta do is catch a fish. Come on. Yeah. Right? And as good as this was, without sleeping bags, the winter night was still unforgiving. On a really cold night, cold toes, cold feet, no sleeping bag. So cold I think toes. I knew what my next offer was. It's day 20 <laughs> and they moved super deep in the woods, so now we have to get Damn. there by boat. Do you hear that sound in right. the distance? Oh. What'd you say? Is that a boat? Any minute now when we find them, I've got a fun offer for them. How's it going, boys? Hey, hey guys. Hey. What's going on? Two things. First, the plane needed maintenance, so I'm all delivering right. this by hey, hand. Hey, all These right. are $10,000, which puts you guys at $140,000. Okay. And second, we have an offer for you. Ooh, 40. Reveal your offer. Just go ahead and take it off. Here it is. Ooh. Is this? You can either 10, give me $10,000 for that red sleeping bag or give me $50,000 and you get both sleeping bags. What, what the fuck? That makes zero sense. Oh, 
Oh, man. Did Can I just... take it out? Yeah, we should look at it. Yeah, check them out. Hang on, I just gotta do this. <laughs> <laughs> These are the same sleeping bags we used in Antarctica. They work very well. Here's the weather forecast. It's gonna get pretty cold next week, so yeah. highly recommend you at least buy one. When we started this yeah, thing, more, at least we one. were in the 20s without anything. Uh -huh. We've adapted mm. to it. We have bedding, we have pine straw. We're doing pretty well in these low temperatures. I would love to have a sleeping bag, but $50,000 is... I say yeah, closer steep. to Grizz than I do my wife, so... Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm not that's even crazy. Kidding. You're actually gonna say no to both. That's crazy, bruh. That's crazy. I'll at least get one. I ain't gonna lie. This man just said he sleeps closer to Grizz. A strange stranger that is a male, by the way. Why not? Closer than to his wife that he has kids with. What? Nigga. That's crazy, my nigga. You have kids with a woman. And you sleep closer to a stranger that is a male than your wife. And he said, I'm not kidding. What the fuck did you do to your wife, bro? Like, what the fuck? What did you do? <laughs> Nigga in the doghouse, dog. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that must be the woman you love and cherish, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That, that's that's kind of wild, though. I ain't gonna lie. That's wild. Both? Oh, at least get one. That's a really cool night. No sleeping bag. At least get one. Yeah, so I think uh, I think it's final. We don't want it. Yeah, agreed. Wow. Not even a single sleeping bag. All right, boys, close it up. Sure, the boys could survive without sleeping bags, <laughs> but that didn't solve their food problem. In between sitting out rainy days, the boys got into a bit of a routine where okay. they would boil water, work on their shelter, and try to catch fish, which okay. wasn't really working out for them. We got some guts for bait. We're going to cast yes. them out and uh, hopefully the fish come up off the bottom of the creek. Day after day of failing to catch any fish. Let's go check the lines, see if any catfish are on. They finally caught a wind in their sails. Oh, oh. Oh, hey, you got one. Yes. Okay, okay. Or whatever that abomination of mother nature was. What is that? I'll eat it. I'll eat it. First fish, it's an eel. And I think I'm gonna charcoal grill it. We're gonna have ourselves some American style unagi. Eel. This is the first thing that we've caught out here in 27 days, which is insane. Damn. We're happy to Them have niggas it, lost and we're gonna make it delicious. <laughs> I don't know if this is what I would call delicious, but the fact that they haven't had a fresh meal in almost 30 days means even a rock would taste good to them at this point. Probably. It's excellent. It's, it's so not good. seasoned, probably. It's probably not it's seasoned really at all, but it's okay. Like amazingly good. If we keep catching fish like this, we can easily stay for a year, bro. Dude, yeah. $3.6 million. Good night. And on day 28, they started constructing their raised bed system in their new shelter. So it's going to be two tripods. One, two. Side rails going down. Slats across. And then a nice pine needle mattress made out of parachutes. And after seeing their new shelter become more and more comfortable, I was starting to get worried that I was going to have to pay these guys millions of dollars. The only regret that I have, they're not bunk beds. Uh, <laughs> that's honestly an L. They were betting everything on their new shelter being right next to this creek. But that may have been a huge mistake because wow. they couldn't catch another eel to save their lives. <sighs> Snapped it. At this point, I've spent more time in the wilderness than I have with my newborn son. Okay. I also have a two-year-old with my wife alone. Okay. How do you explain? The raise pleading to lag on Fortnite? <clears throat> Never more. Playing to a two-year-old that daddy's going to be gone and he won't talk to you and he won't call you and he won't see All you. Right. Say they were ranking us an offer. Say what would be money. something that you would actually buy? We spent a lot of time out here trying to get firewood. You know, having firewood dropped off would be really nice. I'd probably pay ten thousand dollars for that. We are ten thousand dollars in the middle for of the forest. I couldn't tell you where we are anymore. All right. Oh, How's it going, boys? Doing great, man. How are you? As a reward for surviving an entire month. I brought you a store. Ooh. Okay. You see, we come through all of your vlog footage and we wrote down everything you've asked for, such as firewood, a shovel, cooking supplies, <laughs> bedding, and even books and board games. It's okay. like a dollar store, but everything costs 10, 10 grand. Oh, this is your store? Feel free to shop. <laughs> We've won 240 grand. Might as well check it out. What are these? True. Those are mosquito nets. Oh, oh we'll use parachutes. We don't need those. All right, what no. about the hammocks? I like the hammocks, but you know, we haven't tried making them out of parachutes yet. All right, guys, answer this. What could you not make out of parachutes? A lot. All right, well, do you guys want the firewood? How much so, wood? That's the wood you get. That's not if a lot. If it came with unlimited wood, I would buy it. I offered them literally everything they could possibly need here, and they still weren't interested. I was beginning to think these two were secretly Navy SEALs or something. <laughs> Are you guys gonna buy literally anything? You make 10 grand a day. What's another 10 grand? I gotta say no. All right. Yeah. In Damn. a million years, would not have thought they would say no to everything. Next Shit. time, I'm gonna convince you two to spend money. We're looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, man. See you, Jimmy. 
There you go. Honestly, that wasn't enough wood, to be honest with Tank. you. Tank. Stop right here. I have a special surprise for all of you. Such Nolan, what does this look like? A lot of phones. A thousand phones to be oh, exact. Okay. Because over the next seven days, I'm going to be giving a thousand random people that subscribe a free Samsung Galaxy S24. I literally okay. spent over a million dollars on these phones, and I'm giving them away to you. All you have to do to enter to win one of these phones is subscribe. It's literally free. I just want you to know I appreciate everything you guys have been doing for the channel. It means the world to me. Subscribe, win one of these phones. Let's go. And so they continue without any of the tools for my offer. But go figure, for the next few days, they weren't able to catch any fish. Damn. And even though the money kept coming, they were running out of food and time to catch it quickly. I am on the last belt loop. I think that we have maybe two days worth of food left. That's not good. Without a boat, this creek is not productive. Bro, we why are you still trying to- to that river. Why the fuck are they still trying to fucking fish, my nigga? There's other food you can get besides fishing, bro. I would take a day out. Maybe a day just fucking trying to find some fucking animal and try to kill that motherfucker. I know that sounds harsh, but shit, my nigga, you nigga gotta eat. If I can get to that river and the fishing is good, that'll turn all this around. And with their rations running dangerously low, their Beans. only hope at getting food was to travel through the swamp to the river on the other side in hopes of catching some fish. It's risky wasting all these calories, but I have to do it if we're gonna make it any further. But after a grueling hike, Hayes finally found what he was looking for. Oh my God! Woo! Look at that! It's the Who's vlogging for him? That's that a real not question. The most gorgeous thing you've ever seen. Finding this river is probably the difference between us making our goal and us tapping out early. Fortunately, he had a secret weapon. Riz right. and I made our own fishing pole, and this is going to make catching fish easy. No. With Hayes' makeshift fishing pole immediately breaking, he was going to have to use his hands, and he spent hours trying. Hey, he got a fish, though. And if he couldn't catch any fish without wow. immediately dropping them, the calories burned coming here would have been for nothing. But just when he was ready to give up, this one's gonna be it. Ah, uh, yeah! Holy moly! There yes, you go. I told you it was that one! Woo and the luck didn't stop there. I cannot wait to bring this back to Grizz. He's gonna be so stoked. We're eating tonight. Hey. We got three. All right, that's awesome. It feels like this is our first real food in ages. But in the meantime, I was preparing an offer that I know they couldn't refuse. That's it's three. day 40, they've made over a third of a million dollars. Okay, that's and good. I have an that's incredibly good. special offer for them. For $10,000, and I think you're really gonna like this, you 10, both 000. can see your wives. In fact, they're watching right now. <laughs> oh my God, are you serious? Oh man. I can't let down my kid. I know, I can't let down my wife. <laughs> okay, Jimmy. <laughs> wow. It's me, it's daddy. Oh my god. They give him food. So bad. No. Hi, Talia. As nice as it was to see their families, the visit was also bittersweet. Because there's bittersweet. one big question on everyone's mind. How long do you want us to stay? I want you home now. <laughs> like, I do. That's crazy. I want you home now. But look, listen, listen, look how much money your husband's making. It's $10,000 a day. When does an opportunity like this happen for the average man and whatnot? Come on, bro. It's I want you home. Now, you got to think about the fucking bigger picture, bro. You're with him for how many fucking years, bro? And, like, this is an opportunity you don't even fucking get. He has opportunity in his hands where he literally has to survive every day, gets $10,000. And then he can stay as long as he fucking want, but he's planning to stay there for a fucking year. You got people out on deployments for the military and shit like that. They don't see your family like in months or maybe in a year and shit like that. And they don't come back with that much money that he's making, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, what the fuck type of first world type of shit we living in? For real, bro. For real. I know you want me home, but do you need me home? That's what I'm saying. Yes, she needs you. Yes, you need to bond with her. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy how she said she needs you. She needs you. I said, bro. Do you see how much money this man is making, bro? If they're splitting that shit evenly, what's 330 divided by 2? Let's just say the split even. I don't, I don't know the math off the top of my head. I know it's at least a one, 150. So wait, wait. 160 is what? Wait, 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 wait. Let me just do it. 330 divided by 2. It's fucking 165. $165,000, bro. He's bringing it home $165,000 in within 40 days. That is damn near good. Literally over a month. 10 days over a month, my guy. Oh, fuck. What'd I just do? 
I just dropped these two strangers off in the middle of the life, so or whatever the gonna be look like. Have come way to thousand. I know you want that. I know you want me home, but do you need me home? Yes, she needs you. Yes, you need to bond with your son. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't crazy, care bro. what the other guy says. You've made enough money. I need you home. I mean, you made enough money. I need you home. I don't care what the... Bro, that's not a life that you want, bro. i am be honest with you. Actually, let me shut up. I can't I can't be talking about other niggas' wives and shit. But that's... i am be honest with you. Like, I get it. Yes, you have two kids. Because I don't care uh, what the other guy says. You need... You made enough money. You need to come home. $165,000 is enough money? I mean, granted, yeah, for a guy that's single, yes. But for a guy that has two kids, and he has the potential to make more? Woman, well, I mean, only thing you have to do is watch him, bro. Like, 165k, that may sound like a lot, but it's not enough really to, like, for, he has a two-year-old, and he has a, a, a newborn, he said, and, like, a wife to take care of. Depending what state they live in and shit like that, that's really... It also depends if their house paid off or not, or if fucking their car's paid off. I mean, I know he's doing this for his kids' um, college funds. I do know that. Yes, $165,000 is enough money for a college fund. Definitely. But at the same time, how about for, like, you know, you and your wife to a little bit live to a little bit more comfortable? That's the question. I would say at least get to, like, 300000 At least. At least that, bro. One hundred sixty-five dollars ain't an... It's a lot. Don't get me wrong. That is a lot of money for the average American to take a brain home. Not even going to lie. That is. But at the same time, is that enough for you to live a little bit more comfortably? Yes, that's enough. I, I would say you need about $40,000 for a college fund. So let's say $40,000, $40,000. So $80,000. He still has eighty five dollars to play with. I don't know, bro. And you have a wife, too. And then you have a house. And you have cars and all that shit. You know, it's so much shit. How'd you see? That conversation was so difficult for me. Even so, yesterday was a really good day. It had all really the good. things that I love. It had my family, my wife, my kids, my buddy Grizz. That was like a really huge gift. Oh, they're yeah. gone now. Okay. Um, to hold her and know that she was safe, it really good. has changed the way that I'm viewing this entire challenge. Knowing I have my wife, them niggas support, lost I weight. I want to stay until I have a million dollars. Yeah. And after some much needed family. Grizz is absolutely right. Stay until you have a million fucking dollars. Half a mil, half a mil. Easy, bruh. 500k, 500k. Definitely easy, definitely. I'm Hayes and Grizz were much happier than I'd ever seen them. <laughs> Hayes and Grizz. Grizz. <laughs> Good. I'm glad he sticked it out. I'm glad. Let's I'm glad he sticked this fish. shit out. Look at that. This is perfect. Even when something happened that would have totally drained them before. Damn. Four hundred thousand. By now, they didn't even seem to mind. It looks like someone had a gender reveal, and the gender was just money. Even though their spirits were high, there was still a problem they needed to solve. In what? order to What's get to the problem? river to fish, they would first need to trudge through this giant swamp. But if they had a boat, they would easily be able to float down the creek to the river. I am building up for them a boat. The idea is to create a frame with sticks and then attach our tarp so the whole thing can float. Not feeling super confident <laughs> in the boat build. If we can get down the fish without having to tromp through a whole swamp, it's worth the risk. Time for the first sea trial of my beautiful ship. Here he goes. Chris! Da, 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 da. And this was pretty ironic, considering the offer I was about to bring them. Is yeah, look at that car, bro. Let's see how they're doing. Hey. Uh, bro, you guys have a village now. Wait, are you serious? You <laughs> built village. a boat? Yeah, man. You're telling me this thing can actually float. You want to try it? Uh, yeah, I don't. I... Oh, <laughs> it actually works. He built a freaking boat in the woods. All right, now that I'm aware of that, yeah. this changes a lot of things. It's actually it insane that you two built a boat yesterday because I brought the two of you a boat with a Zaxby's Zaxby's. restaurant on Oh my <laughs> gosh, this is so cool, Jimmy. Before I present the offer, I want to make sure you're in a really good state of mind. This okay. is our brand new Mr. Beast box, which are now live at every single Zaxby's across America. Okay. Oh, oh my God, that is so good. The Mr. Beast box comes with the best tasting chicken known to man. And the cool part okay. is every single meal comes with a feast Bar. Our goal okay. with this collab was to take the world's best chicken and pair it with the world's best chocolate. Indeed. Zaxby's also has 12 sauces. There's like so many flavors happening in my mouth. What is that? That's really good. It's a Zax sauce. Look how happy they are. If you want to be happy like them, just go to Zaxby's and get the Mr. <laughs> Beast. Fucking right happy because I had food like that in a minute. Now that you guys have gotten your meals, 
Your day 50 offer is for 50 grand. You can have this boat. 50,000? We don't have a motor. We don't have any way to get this thing around. So you just use sticks. Use <laughs> sticks. Oh, Lord. I don't know. Since you weirdly built the boat the day before, I'll give you a discount. We'll make it $40,000. No, My answer discount. is, no. I love the ship I made. I trust it with my life. So I'm going to leave it up to Grant. For $40,000? No. I'm going to pass on the boat. Yes! I'll get in Hayes' death trap instead. If that sinks and you have to quit, I try. We appreciate mm. the food. That was lovely. Bye, Jimmy. I'll see you next time. So this ship saved us $40,000. Still 40, a death trap. Hey, 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 hey. Man, when we first started this thing, it was in the dead of winter. Do you remember how cold it was? Yeah, now everything is Damn. so nice and warm. And spring was now in full bloom. Mm -hmm. And they were looking day pretty 51. comfortable. There's a lot of flowers here. I can't say that I mind it. What is today, 51? I don't know. I lost track. Hmm. I hear an airplane coming in. Where? Oh, he's coming straight at us. This briefcase puts us at $440,000. Good. Time to build the Hazen Grizzle Love Seat. 80% of what we're sitting on here is going straight to my business. This case. No, I don't yeah. want Katie to work 24-hour shifts anymore. This money's going to do so much for her and our family. But while the warmer weather was nice, it presented new problems like snakes. snakes. Don't want to get bit I by that. Know. And rats. Get the fuck is a rat in the night. <laughs> And it wasn't long until the lack of sleep started to make them irritable. Ah, uh, looks like Hayes is struggling to get over here. Hayes, do you need my help? What does it look like? You want to paddle up river into the wind? Hayes, why don't you go get those uh, fishing line specs? You know what? You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. He is angry. Can you check those lines while you're over there? What do you think I'm doing? Oh, I was just asking. Thank you for telling me to do what I'm already doing once again. <laughs> very angry. <laughs> Keep in mind, at this point, Hayes and Grizz were very close friends. Right. But Hayes had reached the end of his rope, and the jokes just weren't hitting the same anymore. <sighs> Grizz's idea about how this would unwind is not working, obviously. Because it's a stupid idea. Stupid. Hayes, I'm sorry, buddy. I did not know I was actually pissing you off. I thought that I did not know that you were actually upset. It's all right. Okay. And so, feeling frustrated, Hayes turned off his camera and okay. paddled down river, where he set up his camp until the next day. Hayes okay. has uh, set sail, and I think he may have run away. I'll certainly be thinking about him. I know it's supposed to be cold at night, but he's not back in a couple days, so I'm going to have to go looking for him. Let's do something mm. to cheer him up. So we got a huge board over here that was left by Jimmy at the last beast drop, cool. and I'm going to repurpose it into a table with some of our cases. This is its actually pretty sturdy. And when Hayes returned home, he was not empty-handed. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Hayes has returned from his great adventure. All right. Nice. That's oh, what's up. this is a sea trout. I'm pretty wiped out. Mind if I take a minute? No, man. Do your thing. Chris. Yeah, buddy. What's this? It's our table. We have a table? Yeah. yeah. Oh man! Yeah, I figured that perked him up a little bit. This is a hundred thousand dollar table, Grizz. <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. It feels good to be home. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> With their survival needs met and their friendship okay. restored, one question still remains: How long will they stay? Sixty-five yeah, days. That's pretty good. Yeah. The end. Hmm. Honestly, I'd have been done five days ago. Huh. Maybe push like an extra week. I mean, hell, that's a thirty-five thousand dollars each. If I pulled that flare on day 70 how would you feel i would feel uh uh really let down and right. lied to i propose at day 70 we have a conversation decide if we're gonna push further that's fair all right all right that's what's up it's great that i would stay longer for him but i'm not happy about it okay morning guys so hayes has been a little upset i'm seeing it He's keeping it himself, you know, so I'm a little worried yeah. about him. Spoken to Grizz about it. He wants me to stay longer. He's he wants pushing me to stay longer and stay longer. So I get it. I get it. He has a kid. He has a wife to get to. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I don't, uh, I don't have a family like that to, like, you know, relate to as in like, having a kid and a wife. But I can see why he's like, my wife needs me, my kids. I'm a newborn. And all that. I, I get it. I get it. At some point, I gotta stop being wilderness guy and go be dad. Another day. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! No, no, no! I knew that was gonna happen. I saw it. Oh, Boom. No. Oh, hey, no money. Going to up. check out the case that is dropped from the sky. Day seventy. I'm gonna see if Grizz is good being done today. Let's see what he says. Mm, all right. What are we gonna do with all this money? No. Kind of want to talk to you about that. Okay, kind of okay. ready to hit the flare. Damn. What do you think about that? I don't want to stay longer. I know 315K. that you got to pull 
315k each. That's good money. That's good. It's better than the 165. I tell you that much. That's better than that. It's not a bad deal. Not bad. Not bad for him at all. For being a father. 315k that can do some money. That, that, that can do a lot. That can do a lot. I don't know. I mean, it can do a lot. That's all that I can say. It can do a lot. I don't know if it's enough to buy like a house for you, for you and your family to live comfortably, um, comfortable in. But you know, if he already has a house already set, then shit, three hundred fifteen k just play money, I guess. But I don't know. Away from this thing with family. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We've talked about it a thousand times. I just want to know how you feel about it today. Yes or no? Okay. Can you go one more day? Give yourself twenty four hours just to kind of. I, I thought a lot about it, but <laughs> if you want to go another day, let's go another day. One more day. Okay. How's it going, boys? How are you, buddy? Good. Let's go on a little walkie walk. We can go over here. Walkie walk. Let's say Hayes isn't a part of the equation. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How many more days do you think you could survive out here? Let's call it 45 days. 45. Would probably be as far as I'd go. How okay. many do you think he has left in the tank? One. He One talks about it every day. How often do you think about shooting the flare? <laughs> every day. What stops you? At this stage, Grizz, you know, he All wants right, to make a million dollars, and it's hard to say no to that. I have an obligation to him, too, but it's starting it's to obligation. go towards family. Yeah. Yeah. All right. When you do shoot that flare, that's going to be crazy. Oh, I can't wait. Hmm. Okay, last night? Uh -huh. I don't want to disappoint Grizz, but... Hold on. 330? Thought it would be cool to to come back here to our first camp where I was shoulder to shoulder with Grizz every single night. And after that, it was like, all right, dude, we're brothers now. I expected okay. to walk away with a lot of money, but I didn't expect to walk away with like a friend for life. Okay. And that's so meaningful to me. I kind of got to think about what's right for me and my family. True, 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 true. Hayes got so desperate that he literally went into Grizz's bag and stole the flare gun, even though yeah. it was his idea to separate it into two parts. At this point, all I have to do is shoot this thing. Damn. And I get to be a dad again, you know? Damn. I know this thing is, is very challenging. What we're doing out here is not easy. Sure. I really, truly do believe that you're doing what's right for your family. I disagree. You're providing for them I in disagree. a way that's no, going to change their lives. Now, it's gone the other way. Now Wait. it's, I think I need, I need to be there. I think that you've been really upset, and you've been missing your family really bad. I, I feel like, I think the money doesn't matter. Spiraled through the money doesn't. The, the money doesn't matter to me anymore. And really, why? He said the money doesn't matter to him anymore. Well, how much? How much money they made together? So it's just three thirty. So then what? Uh, three thirty-five, I guess. Yeah, I think three thirty-five. Oh, no, yeah, three thirty-five. So they just made three hundred thirty-five k together. So they both walk away with three hundred thirty-five thousand. The only thing that's keeping me here is just you, <laughs> and I'm sick of it. Damn. Yeah. My family needs me too. You know? yeah. And you're very good at you know manipulating manipulating me. Manipulate. You're very good at manipulating. My family needs me too. <laughs> You're very good at manipulating. I mean, shit, if he was to fire that shit, I wouldn't be mad at him at the same time. I was like, dog, come on, bro. Let's get this shit to a million. Let's both walk away with 500K. Let's both walk away with 500K. Let's do it. But 335, that's good, too. I ain't going to be mad at you, but what the fuck, bro? It was clear that in this moment, Grizz was going to have to make a decision. Convince Hayes to continue surviving in these woods for more and more money, or be there for his friend when he needed him the most. I can't imagine having gone through this experience with, with anyone else. I mean, I really okay. do like, I genuinely think you'd be like a brother, you know? I'm sorry that I've just pushed you on and on and on. I just don't want to let you down. You're not letting me down. Yeah, I am. Brothers don't let each other down. This is the way it is. Everything, <laughs> everything's got to come to an end sometime. Okay. Let me see that flare. I owe you this. And to be honest with you, I'm sorry that it's taken so long. OK. I think it's time for us to do this thing, buddy.
All right, that's what's up, though. That's what's up. All right, three thirty-five. Like I ain't gonna be mad at you. Three thirty-five. You smell bad. <laughs> you say you smell bad. I think they shot the player. No, you take that one. Let's go check in on him. Rich, rich. <laughs> Boys. Hey, Jimmy. Oh my God. We dropped him off. This is what they looked like. And here's they lost them some weight. Seventy-four days later. They definitely lost some motherfucking Crazy. weight. Yes, they look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't left these woods in 74 days. Dude, I'm so ready. One final surprise. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Hi, oh Tommy, baby! Oh, wow. <laughs> After 74 days, they've won $670,000. And in case you forgot, we're giving away a thousand Samsung phones to random people that subscribe in the next week. So don't forget, press that subscribe button right now. All right, well, that was good. So they both went 335k, assuming, assuming that. So, yeah, assuming they split 50 50. All right, cool.